Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. FIFA 18 has just released its World Cup game mode. You can play the World Cup itself or World Cup mode on Ultimate Team. And yeah, it's, it's free as well, which is awesome. The game was quite dead for a while, for a few months now, so I'm glad there's something new, something fresh. Gonna do some videos on this, of course. I'm gonna do a video where I play as England for, for the tournament, see how far I get. I might do a series where I play the tournament, like just play through the whole tournament and see, like play as every single team at least once and like see how that goes. I might do that as well. Maybe something else uh, apart from that. But for now, this is a prediction video. Now, not my predictions, but the game's predictions. Basically, I'm going to sim every single game and I'm going to see who finishes first and second in the groups. Any shock exits, ETC, and we'll just see what happens from the group stages. And then I will sim the knockout stages, see who wins the tournament, see who the game thinks will win the tournament. Yeah, so um, I was going to do gameplay. I was going to show gameplay for England and Spain v Portugal, but here's what happens. I can't, I have to play, it says I have to play as a team. I have to play as one of the teams apparently. So that's really unfortunate because I was, I was going to show a virtual, like an actual sim, like a full game sim of like three or four games, but I can't do that apparently. So I'm just going to like do a quick sim of all of them. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. All right, so the squads are not accurate. That's the only disadvantage here. Uh, they're not announced yet, but Russia beat Saudi Arabia 4-0 in the first game. And Uruguay beat Egypt 2-0. Pretty interesting. Obviously, Salah's playing as well. He might not play the first game. Who knows, depending on his injury. Rodriguez also scored two goals. And Iran beat Morocco 2-1. As you can see, Zayek scored for Morocco. Now, this is a massive one. I'm going to... Just leave it, and not skip it. Let's just see what happens. Portugal take the lead through Ronaldo. That's a surprise there. Spain, is, Spain a much stronger team. Portugal did win the Euros, of course, but Spain still a much stronger team. Ronaldo missed the penalty as well to a two 0 up. Crazy stuff. Cookies coming on. Uh, a few subs there. Spain really trying to get get back into it, but it looks like Portugal might hold on for a shock victory, possibly. This would be a shock to me if they did pull this off. But there we go. France won, Australia won. Dinier scored for France. Uh, Rogic scored for Australia. Argentina 3, Iceland 0. Biglia, Messi and Aguero scoring for Argentina. Peru 1, Denmark 1. Croatia 4, Nigeria 1. Costa Rica 1, Serbia 1. And the Germans, they usually turn up at the World Cup and uh, there's no there's no difference here in the game. Ozil scored so did Timo Werner. With a, with a brace. Brazil 3, Switzerland 1, Alves, Jesus and Neymar scoring. Sweden 3, Korea 0, uh, Forsberg with a hat-trick. I meant to say South Korea but I'm sure you know what I meant. De Bruyne, Carrasco and Eden Hazard have scored for Belgium who beat Panama 3-0. Now I'm an England fan so obviously the England game I will just leave. Let's just see what happens. Oh no, this is a, this is an England thing isn't it? This is an England thing that could happen and I'm worried. I'm worried for us. I am. We got some good players, but you know, Ali equalised. A nice one from Delhi Ali. I assume it'd be a good goal. But yeah, um, let's get the win. Come on. Oh no. 2 1 down. It's a disaster. Rashford with an equaliser. Why is Hart even there? As I said, so certain players who are not meant to be there will be there. And that's one of the examples. But. Our first game in the World Cup, um, the World Cup game says will be 2-2. Colombia 1, Japan 2, Poland 3, Senegal 0. We're into match day 2 now and Russia beat Egypt 2-1. Portugal beat Morocco also 2-1, Ronaldo's going again. Uruguay 3, Cavani hat-trick 3-0 against Saudi Arabia. Iran beating Spain. What? Denmark 2, Australia 0, France 0, Peru 0, Argentina 3, Croatia 1, Brazil 5, Costa Rica 0, Gabriel Jesus hat trick, name of a brace as well, Nigeria 0, Iceland 1, Serbia 1, Switzerland 1, Belgium 3, Tunisia 0, Korea 1, Mexico 1, Germany 2, Sweden 0, England 6, I probably should have like left that on for you to see, but England 6. Panama Neil, Maguire, Henderson, Dyer, Ali, Kane and Sterling scoring for England. Shinji Kagawa scored a brace as Japan beat Senegal 2-0. Poland won, Colombia won. So, everyone's played twice now. Let's check the standings. For Group A, Russia with six points along with Uruguay. That means Egypt and Saudi Arabia are both knocked out. And as for Group B, surprise, surprise, Portugal with six points. 
Iran with six points and Morocco and Spain with zero points which means they are both knocked out of the tournament at the group stages. Spain for me one of the favorites of the tournament so for them to finish this low in this game is just it's just crazy. As for group C Denmark with four points, France with two points, another big team struggling there. Peru and Australia, well Peru won with two points as well, level with France and Australia with a point. Group D, unsurprisingly Argentina with six points at the top, Croatia with three points, Iceland with three points, Nigeria with zero. Group E, Brazil with six points, they are guaranteed to finish top now. Uh, Serbia in second place, just hanging in there, but Switzerland and Costa Rica both just a point behind. Group F, Germany with six points, Sweden with three points, Mexico and South Korea both with a point. Group G, Belgium with six points, England with four points, England most likely through because of the goal difference, Tunisia with just a point and Costa Rica and Panama, sorry, they are completely out of zero points. And finally, Japan are on six points, Poland are on four points, they could well be through as well through, due to goal difference. Colombia with a point and uh, Senegal are out on zero points. Let's wrap up the group stages then. Saudi Arabia losing to Egypt 1-0. Uruguay 1, Russia 1. Spain 2, Morocco 1, closer than I expected. Iran 1, Portugal 3, Ronaldo scoring a brace this time. Denmark 1, France 2, Ericsson, Griezmann and Payet scoring the goals. Australia 2, Peru 3, quite a good game there. Aaron Moy of course scoring for Australia. Iceland 1. Croatia 1, Nigeria 0, Argentina 2, South Korea 0, Germany 1, Ozil scoring again in the tournament, Mexico 2, Sweden 0, Serbia 0, Brazil 2, Switzerland 3, Costa Rica 1, Japan 0, Poland 1, Senegal 1, Colombia 2. And in a big game, England have beaten Belgium, Kane and Rashford. I'd love this to happen in, in real life, but um, the game says that we can beat Belgium, so uh, there's something. Before the very last group game, let's just clarify the other seven groups. Group A, Russia and Uruguay have gone through, both of seven points. Russia edging it on, well, I guess goals, yeah, goal scored. Group B, Portugal and Iran going through, Spain getting knocked out, that's a shock exit there. Peru and France, Peru in top as well. Peru, uh, France playing Argentina. France, France, Argentina, I think. Yeah, France, Argentina in, in last 16 in this in this uh, in this save, which is pretty cool. Peru and France, of course, going through. Um, Denmark and Australia getting knocked out. Argentina, Croatia, this group going through. Croatia just edging out on goal difference over Iceland, unbelievable. Nigeria on zero points, of course. Brazil and Switzerland going through from Group E. Um, Serbia and Costa Rica getting knocked out. Germany and Mexico getting knocked out from getting knocked out. Sorry, going through from uh, Group F. Germany with nine points, three wins out of three. Obviously, they always turn up the World Cup, so there's no surprise there. Sweden and South Korea um, getting knocked out. In Group H, Poland with seven points, South Korea with six points, Colombia missing out by two points with four points, and Senegal knocked out. And uh, as for this group, England are through top of the group. Belgium are three runners up and uh, the last game doesn't really matter that much but let's sim it right now. Panama 1, Tunisia 2. That's what it means for the group. Tunisia 4 points still in Octavo. On to the knockouts. The first game of the knockouts. Peru 0, Croatia 1. Croatia through to the quarterfinals. Russia 2, Iran 0. The hosts, Russia, they have gone through to the quarterfinals as well. Wow! I did not expect that. Portugal to top their group. Play a part in knocking out Spain as well. They beat Spain in the group. Just to lose to Uruguay. Argentina nil, France won. France going through. Lacazette scoring. Who is not going to the World Cup, but there we go. Brazil three, Mexico nil. No surprise there. Gabriel Jesus, Neymar and Willian scoring the goals. England three, Japan one. England through to the quarterfinals. Now, I think we actually could get there in real life if uh, things go our way. We shall see though. We need to win our first two games. Like at least to like go through first, but nowhere beyond that. Anyway, Germany three, Switzerland one, Hector, Urzu and Werner. Urzu's on fire in this tournament. Poland one, Belgium two, and here are the quarterfinals: Russia v Croatia. So one of those two teams are going to the semis, which is crazy stuff. Brazil are playing England, which is a massive game. Uruguay are playing France, which is a, a big game as well. Germany Belgium as well. That is. You, you never know which way that could go. I mean, Germany always turn up at World Cups. They have a crazy record of reaching semi-finals and finals. 
As for Belgium, they've got a lot of talent, so you never know. Russian nil, Croatia won, so the host going out, and Croatia to the semi-finals. Let's leave the controller, at least. Let's see what happens. So far, so good. Not conceded for 20 minutes now. Going pretty well. Neymar has made it 1-0. Unsurprising that it's him, you know. He would Coutinho 2-0. Might be game over already. <laughs> that didn't last long, did it? It didn't last too long. It's not a surprise, this. So it's not like, oh, we scored. Rashford. Firmino makes it 3-1. Now it's game over, for sure. And just like that, England are knocked out, unsurprisingly. Germany beat Belgium 1-0. Timo Werner scoring the only goal of the game. Uruguay 0. France 1. Thomas Lamar scoring the only goal. And we are through to the semi-finals. Not, not we, as in the tournament is through there. And uh, here we go. And in those semi-finals, we have Croatia v Brazil and France v Germany. Now, this is not completely like impossible, but I would say that Spain, Brazil and Germany will be at this stage. That's what I feel. And the other team, it could be France, it could be Argentina, I guess. I guess it could be Argentina. Um, their defense is weak though. So I don't know like how they survive this tournament. They did it last time, but I don't think they can ride their luck again like that. And they need Messi to perform as well. And uh, if Messi doesn't turn up, then uh, they've got an issue. Belgium could be a dark horse, but it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Croatia 1, Brazil 2. Wow. France beating Germany on penalties. Of, of, all, the, of, all, the, <laughs> of all the ways to beat Germany at a World Cup. They've missed like two in their history in the World Cup. Did you know that? They've missed like two World Cup penalties, I think. I'm pretty sure. Which is ridiculous. And for them to lose to France on penalties. Bold, bold decision. Bold prediction there from the game. Before the final, we have got the third place game. Let's see if finishes third place. Croatia or Germany. We'll find out right now. Germany scored. Well, Kimmich scored for Germany to make it 1-0. And that was enough. So the final, Brazil v France, not impossible. This could happen, you never know. But let's see, oh, Brazil go 1-0 up with Neymar. Uh, this is interesting. Can France equalize, that's the question. Marcelo got a yellow, of course, for Brazil. It looks like they're holding on though. Neymar scored again. Is that enough? Is that enough to win Brazil their sixth World Cup title? Are they back on top? Back, I mean, they're on top anyway with most titles, but are they are they back to the, to the level that they should be at? Name of a hat-trick there, there we go, 3-0. So there you have it, the World Cup game thinks that Brazil will win the World Cup. This was your boy Davidoff, please like, share, subscribe, thanks for watching, have a good day, and I might do this again with updated squads, I might do that, I might do that. Um, we shall see, see ya.